Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. This is not my first speech. Appallingly, we have heard a deafening silence from the vast majority when it comes to the dire straits that white South African farmers face. And while there has been a courageous few that have stepped up and spoken out on the issue, media attention has seemingly fallen by the wayside. It is easy to sympathise with the friends and families of murdered South African farmers when they take to the streets in their thousands. However, it is just as easy to forget the issue when the horrific images fade from our television screens. As recently as yesterday, South African farmers are being murdered. A woman was shot multiple times, bravely uh, barely surviving, while her husband unfortunately did not. Debbie Turner, a South African farmer's wife, gives other, another example of the brutality uh, that really faces the South African farmers every day. They beat him with a pole. You could hear his bones break. Debbie described her husband's, uh, Robert Turner's, brutal murder. The rank and file members of the Liberal Party can see the importance of the issue, introducing a motion to give preferen preferential treatment to South African minorities targeted by hate crimes. The flames of hate are being fanned by the very people who are meant to protect them. Shoot the boar, kill the farmer, confirmed as words of hate by the South Kutag High Court are being sung by elected representatives calling for the murder of whites. <clears throat> and while some say that farm murders are decreasing, the number of targeted attacks have increased year on year. South African farmers are at the top of the scale, according to expatriate support groups. Farmers are four times more likely to be murdered than the rest of the South African population. Yet where is the outrage by those who advocate for the protection of minorities? White South Africans are being targeted, murdered in their homes or robbed in the street. They are a, mon they are a minority and are being subjected to state-sanctioned persecution. Yet leaders around the world have been silent on these issues. Why? The same reason they are being targeted because of their race. <coughs> the ruling party has stated the ANC unequivocally supports the principle of land expropriation without compensation. We've heard that before. Remember the slaughter of the white farmers in Rhodesia after the homicidal Robert Mugabe took power? Is this ongoing crisis not reminiscent of that time? Have we, lo have we not learnt from the past? Australia needs to stretch its arms across the sea, embrace our brothers frontier nation to offer sanctuary to our fellow European Christians. Of course, after the black radicals killed or drove off the white farmers in Rhodesia, the crops withered in the field and turned to dust. They looked to South African farmers for assistance. Well, it seems that the radicals in uh, Africa have very short memory. In the South African Communist Party, and its ilk have its way, whites will be killed en masse for no other reason than their race. We have a word for that. It's called genocide. I've highlighted this before. It's time the Australian government stepped in and saved white South Africans before it is too late. It's time they listened to the rank and file members of their party, time they listened to their constituents. I, re I reiterate my strong for support for Minister Dutton's call for prioritising persecuted white South African refugees. The ongoing cries for help I continue to receive on a daily basis, uh, the show of support from my Queensland constituents has hardened my resolve. <coughs> so I'll put it on record and say again today, we need to do more. The Australian government needs to find a solution uh, to what should be considered a humanitarian crisis. The solution is to bring them here. <coughs> Unlike the Muslim fake refugees, much, much loved by the Greens and company, who come here to live in public housing and collect welfare, white South African immigrants to Australia have a strong record of self-reliance, integration into the community, working hard and paying taxes. We need, as a matter of urgency, to let white South African refugees come here, 
before black radicals and South African communists finish their plans of genocide. Thank you.